All right, so this is the new uh, switch that I installed. Here it is. Here's the. Uh, you guys already saw the box in the last video, but this is the box again. This is the model number right there. Um, so um, I had a problem with the first one I bought. It uh, didn't work correctly. I don't know. It, when I hooked it up, it didn't. It just didn't work correctly. But Amazon took care of it took care of it very quickly let me tell you that uh i called up and they said oh problem we'll send out a new one and i got this in two days so on uh, amazon and uh wow okay that's awesome to me let me tell you that so i got the new one i refunded the old one back and i got this and i already hooked it up here it is i left it out so you guys can see um how i hooked it up so you could see here it is labeled we got the dimmer the timer and the live wire coming in so the live wire is the wire all the way to the left so that one comes in goes into there uh, my ground is hooked up into the obviously the ground wire is in there and my timer is hooked up to my lights i mean my timer is hooked up to my fan and my dimmer is hooked up to my lights now make sure you do not mess this up because um you can cause uh, you can cause it to burn out or break or whatever the case may be because um, they are different ratings. See, 2.5 amp, 300 watt. Um, so if you put up, you know, you can burn it out. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. So you want to make sure you hook it up correctly and label the wires correctly to each one. So my light is on right now. You could put the light on the dimmer. See. There's my light right there. Now it only works with an incandescent bulb. I found this out, um, you know, <clears throat> with uh, kind of disappointment I found this out, but what are you gonna do? Um, we're in the year 2019. I thought that this, th I thought this switch would be um, LED compatible or incan, you know, I'm not incandescent. I mean LED or um, you know the spiral ones, um, but it's not. It's only incandescent, and you know it's a little tough to get incandescent bulbs. Everything's LED now. In 2019, I that's the only thing I do not agree with this switch. Um, I put LED and incandescent bulbs in there, and it will not shut it off. It does not shut off those bulbs. It has to be incandescent. It will not. Um, it will not do LED, and it will not do the um, compact fluorescent bulbs. I'm sorry. It won't do those. Um, so just make sure that you have those bulbs. Uh, this has a timer on the bottom. That's why I installed it. It's awesome. You set the timer for the fan, so you're not wasting electricity. Just t hit this button. What do you want to set? You want to set it for 10 minutes. You hit this button it'll turn on i'm not going to turn it on right now because it gets very loud and you won't be able to hear me but that's for that uh this is the dimmer like i said i already went over that that's the dimmer and that's controlled for the lights uh as you can see i can i uh filled in the um big hole gaping hole that i had from the last video um i had a, a fan that was here that was huge um, before and I don't need a fan that big not in this day and age so I don't need a fan that big because I have two so I put a uh, like aluminum alloy around there and it was pretty cool I just drilled it in and I put some silicone in I sealed it all up it's pretty good um, not to get moisture in there uh, so that kind of works out it looks pretty good you know I don't really notice it uh, I can use a little bit more silicone obviously in this corner and stick it up but I'll deal with that later. Um, so yeah, I'm going to test it out right now. I'll show you guys how you can turn the fan on. You set this to what you want. You want it on for 5 minutes, 10 minutes. See how it lights up. 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So you can set which one you want. So we're going to do 10 minutes again. You set this up. Hit this button. Fan. Fan is on for 10 minutes. You guys just heard it kicked on. So let me tell you, it's pretty amazing this switch to help me with my moisture problem. I have a big moisture problem here um, because of my uh, standing water in the corners. So now I set this for where, you know, 
well, I just set it for 10 minutes to show you, but I usually set it on 30 or even 60 minutes, and I'll have it run and suck the moisture right out of this uh, place. It's great. So this switch was pretty helpful. Like I said, the only put down is that I wish it controlled LED or compact fluorescence. It does not. It will not turn them off. And, you know, that's all that stinks. Like I said, you turn this off, hit the button, see how it turns off with the other bulbs it will not turn off it just stays on and it's you can't do nothing about it so this is what it looks like when it's off then the lights are on all right so that's just to show you a review of the switch that i just installed so you guys know if you want to buy this one or not like i said it was the only one i could find on the market that does a dimmer and that does the fan it's the only one on the market that separates it unless you can find some other ones please let me know for cheaper like i said i mean this was only a few you know a few tens of dollars it wasn't too bad uh i saw some other ones but they were like a hundred dollars so that's a little crazy for a switch that i'm not going to reuse and this one works just as fine so it's just a review there it is um working with my light I'll turn it on again that's how it lights up and that's it. It's kind of my situation. And I covered my mirror with, uh, I covered my mirror. I covered the hole in my wall. Um, I got a awesome mirror slash shelving unit that you guys are going to see that I'm going to install in here. Um, I just put this board over that so this way I need to build out the wall an eighth of an inch so I put an eighth of an inch wall so this will make it nice and smooth so this way I'll be able to put my cabinet in that I bought um, that's on the floor right there that's my cabinet I bought I'm gonna install that and you guys will see that I had to switch it all around I bought it from Ikea and I had to rip the mirror off and I had to switch it around because they only sold it on the one side and that's not the side i needed it so i ripped the mirror off and i redrilled the holes for these um now it's gonna work awesome for what i need so i'm gonna put that right here and you guys will see that next time all right <clears throat> thank you for watching my video have a good night